Colombian Madeleine Vergara has dedicated nearly 22 years of her life to help victims of sexual violence. Today, she is visiting Venezuelan migrants in Rio Acha, a city on Colombia's northern Caribbean coast. Vergara is here to help protect migrant women and children from sex trafficking and sexual violence. Every week, the Colombian foundation called Renacer, which means rebirth in English, reaches out to these children. For the past three decades, Renacer has helped more than 22,000 children and teenage survivors of sexual exploitation. Renacer provides them a place where they can play without concern for their families' migration-related struggles. These spaces become a place where they can trust and speak, because many times sexual abuse is happening at home, but children don't have anyone to talk to, or they think it's a natural or normal thing to live through. The active presence of human rights advocacy groups also helps the community report and be aware of sex trafficking networks that look for vulnerable women and children. Vergara says trafficking networks are more easily reaching teens at home. One of the biggest changes in exploitation and sexual abuse is that these exploiters contact girls through social networks, even through video games. Because you think a seven-year-old or eight-year-old is playing an interactive game at home, she's safe, but there's a huge imminent risk. This region, La Guajira province in Colombia's northeast, borders Venezuela. With the influx of migrants fleeing the economic and political crisis in Venezuela, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees reports seeing a larger number of women and children victims. According to the foundation Renacer and Colombia's Family Welfare Institute, from 2019 to 2021, in La Guajira alone, there were 163 reported cases of sexual exploitation of children and adolescents. 45 percent of them were refugees and migrants. The foundation has recently opened a home in La Guajira that provides a safe space for victims of sex trafficking and sexual violence. For victims, recovery is a long and tumultuous one that requires 24-hour care from therapists, educators, and even specially trained cleaning ladies and meal providers. The cook may have a child approach them and feel they want to speak, so we all need to be trained and exchange information. It is a difficult job, but Vergara says the work pays off when she can see the results of her work. Today is the first meeting in more than 10 years between Vergara and one of the beneficiaries of Renacer, Dionela Castro. <laughs> Castro was a victim of sexual abuse as a child and had become a sex worker as a teenager. She entered Renacer when she discovered she was pregnant. When I left the foundation, I was transformed thanks to the workshops, therapies, and psychological support. The family group, camps, and all this helped to transform my mind and be more positive. Castro not only found healing at Renacer, but redefined herself, creating a different life for her family. Her daughter, who was born at the foundation, is finishing her studies to become a sociologist. They consider themselves living proof for the possibility of rebirth after sexual abuse. Michelle Vega, CGTN, La Guajira, Colombia.